Hello, my name is Dr. Gill. Um, I've been asked to do a lower limb neurological examination on you. Before we start, could we please confirm your name and date of birth? Yeah, Megan Struthers, 22nd of February, 1998. Thank you. So in terms of doing the exam today, that's going to involve uh, watching you walk and seeing what your gait is like, getting you to lie on the bed. I'm going to be touching your legs and moving them around. I'll also be using some cotton wool and a small neuro tip to touch your legs, as well as checking your reflexes and checking vibration sense to your feet with a tuning fork. Is that okay? Super. So before we start, do you have any problems with your legs? Um, I've got a bit of a painful foot, but it's okay. Okay. If I can just get you, uh, get you to stand up for me, please. I'd like you to walk five paces, turn and come back, please. That's fantastic. And come back. We're going to make it a little bit more difficult now. If you could uh, please walk on your heels, forwards. And come back again. Okay, if you could now walk forwards and backwards on your toes, please. Fantastic. And the final one, if we can make it all much more difficult, if you could please walk heel toe across the floor. And turn and come back. Super. And if you'd like to get up on the bed for me. So apart from the uh, the limp that you mentioned from the uh, the foot injury, I couldn't see uh, any obvious issues with your gait. So just having a look at your legs now, I'm looking to see if there's any um, abnormal movements of the legs. Can I see any deformities or um, any um, scars and things like that? And there's no obvious issues. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put my hand on your leg and roll it if that's okay. And having a look to see what the tone, the resting muscles of your legs. So I'm watching your foot and just waggling backwards and forwards. So we've got nice movement to the foot. And same again on this side. Now I'm going to pick your knee up, so you're going to have a slight movement. That's fine. And again over here. I'm just going to move your leg round and just pulling at the foot to feel what happens with your calf. Okay, so straight movement and your calf doesn't contract. Go to the same again over here. Good, and no contractions there. So um, we've had a look, we've checked the tone, now I need to check the power. So what I'm going to ask you to do is raise this leg up for me and I'm going to try and push it down to the bed, so stopping you. So if you could raise your leg up for me, I'm going to stop you. Fantastic. And if you could push down to the bed, brilliant. And same again on the side, pushing up for me. Okay. And then pushing down. Fantastic. Now I'm going to move your legs again. So. I'm going to try and straighten your leg and I want you to stop me, so keep your leg in this position. And I'm going to try and close it. Fantastic. And we'll do the same again on the side. So keep your leg in this position. Don't let me move it. Super. And now I'm going to try and push it in. Fantastic. Bring that leg down. So again, I want to keep your legs in position. Don't let me move them. Okay. So I'm putting pressure on the insides. Great. And I'm putting pressure on the outsides. Brilliant. I'm going to move your feet. So I'm going to push your feet up. Okay. Don't let me move your feet. So I'm going to push up. Great, and don't let me push them down. Fantastic. And I'm going to turn your feet in. Don't let me move them. And then I'm going to try and turn them out. Super. And I'm just going to do the power of your um, toes. So I'm going to push your toes up. And if you push me away, brilliant. And I'm going to push your toes down. And if you pull back, super. So your power is five over five. There was absolutely no problems there. Now we're going to check your sensation. So getting a piece of cotton wool. So I'm going to touch uh, the top of your neck, if that's okay. So can you feel that? Mm -hmm. Super. I'm going to do the same again, touching down your leg, but with your eyes closed, and you need to say yes as soon as you can feel it. Could you take your uh, socks off for me as well? Okay, so close your eyes for me. Please say yes when you feel me touch you. Super, so everything was normal with our soft touch. 
Now I've got a neuro tip here, so there's a small blunt end to it, so if I could just have a finger please. So see, it's not sharp. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to do the same again, touch your neck. If you close your eyes for me, can you feel that? Mm -hmm. Brilliant. So I'm going to do the same again, touch those regions. So please close your eyes and say yes when you feel me touch you. Yeah. Superb, so there's no issues with that at all. Now we're going to go to a slightly different one. So this is a tuning fork. If I strike it, it vibrates. So I'm going to touch your chest there, so you can feel that vibration. Yeah. Tell me when it stops. Yeah. Super. We're going to do the same again, so I don't need to know when you can feel it vibrating. I need to know when you can feel it stop. Okay. okay. So if you close your eyes for me, I'm going to put it on uh, the first joint of the toe, so you can feel that vibration. Yeah. Tell when it stops. Yep. Superb. And we're going to do the same again on the other side. You can feel the vibration. Mm -hmm. Tell when it stops. Yep. Fantastic. So it's completely normal on both sides there. Now we're going to do uh, another form of proprioception, so where you, your ability to sense where your body is. So I'm going to hold your big toe, and that is up, and that is down. So if you close your eyes for me, and tell me which way it is. Up. Down. Up. Up. Down. Super. And we're going to do the same again with the opposite side. So again, holding the middle of the toe. Down. Up. Down. Down. Up. Super. So you could tell where your toe was at all points there, so we don't have any problems with that. So we've done our appearance tone, power, we've done our sensation, we're going to do coordination now, so if you could take this heel for me, bring it up to your knee, and then back to touch your big toe. Yeah. Super, so we've got good coordination there. We'll do the same again on this side, so starting with the heel, all the way to your knee, and then back round. Okay. Now we're going to carry on with the coordination, I'm going to put my hands underneath your feet and I just want you to tap against them like so. Super, so we've got good coordination there. Um, I'm now going to check, check your reflexes, so if we get you to swing your legs round, we're going to get the tendon hammer and starting off with your knees, so it's going to get loose and floppy. Okay. Now we'll do the same again on the other side, loose and floppy. Super, so we've got normal reflexes there. So if you could stand with one leg over the chair like so for me. Yeah. Okay, just going to squeeze over the calf. So the foot's intact, putting a little bit of pressure. And we've got an excellent reflex there, if you could swap legs for me. Again, checking for the calf, that's great. Super, so we've got a normal reflex there. So to finish off, so we've got your feet two centimetres apart. What we're going to do, we're going to look at your sense of balance. So I'm going to stand a little bit closer and put my arms either side. And I'm going to ask you to close your eyes in a moment. If you do wobble, I'll touch you on one shoulder or the other or stop you falling. So you're safe. So if you close your eyes for me. So we're going to hold you there for 30 seconds. And we're going to see what happens as you stand there. So your a body's ability to tell where you are in space and time is based upon three things. It's based upon your vision. It's based upon your, the balance from your inner air and based on, upon the position from your feet. So we've removed your vision. So if there was a problem with either of the other two, you will have a problem with your balance as you're doing this. But so far, you're standing nice and still with no issues, showing we've got no issues with proprioception. Okay, so if you can open your eyes. Super. So that completes our examination. There were no abnormalities from your uh, lower limb neuro exam. Do you have any questions for myself? No. Super. Thank you very much. Thank you.